Welcome to Tabletop Ready, my name's Michael and in this video I'm going to be talking about the things that I've learned whilst painting miniatures that I think everyone could benefit from, no matter how long you've been in the hobby. I'm going to be talking about equipment and accessories, planning your projects and how you can work towards improving your miniature painting skills. In the hobby of painting miniatures there's a lot to get your head around. And in all the years that I've been doing this hobby, I've come to realise there's no one way of doing things, especially when it comes to painting. Everybody does it differently. But what I have learned is how to approach the hobby in general, and the mindset that's massively helped me improve my miniature painting over the years, that no one really teaches you or talks about. You just kind of have to learn as you go along. So in no particular order, here are some of the things that I think everybody should know about painting miniatures. It seems obvious, but what are the basics? Most people would talk about techniques like dry brushing, shading your miniatures or even highlighting. But for me the basics are all about how the paints are used and how we apply them onto our miniatures. It all starts with taking some paint from the pot, but what do we do with it? If we go straight to painting our miniature you'll find it's too thick, we have too much paint on the brush and we can't really spread it around evenly. Paints are basically colour pigments in different kinds of liquid and Citadel paints are acrylic based which means we can manipulate them with water. We use water to dilute the paint so the pigment isn't so concentrated. I want to interrupt this video to give a shout out to AJ Savoy who's just become my latest patron. It really does make a massive difference so thank you very much. So what happens is the liquid is evaporating, basically drying and leaving that pigment on the surface of our miniature. Without water we get thick layers of pigment left clogging up the detail. If we use a lot of water the pigment thins out so much the paint becomes translucent so it doesn't cover a surface very well. So before you even begin painting it's a good idea to get used to how much water you like to use to dilute your paint using a palette of your choice. As a simple rule for myself, I always tend to thin my paint with an equal amount of water as this seems to work for me, but it could be different for you, so make sure to try out different amounts of water and see what you prefer. So we thinned our paint which makes a massive difference straight away, but there's still a couple more things we need to do to make sure we get a nice finish to our layers. We want to start by avoiding going over any area we've just painted. This is going to prevent us from creating unwanted texture with our brush whilst the paint is still drying. And because we thinned our paint, you're not going to get the coverage we want with just one layer, so we want to paint in multiple thin layers. This is going to allow us to get that solid colour without losing the details on our miniatures. Just make sure to let each layer dry and then repeat the process until you have a nice solid colour you're happy with. I found that focusing on just getting my head around these few basic fundamentals massively improved my miniature painting instantly and this is why I talk about them all the time in my tutorials. We all want to get better and improve our painting skills so we go ahead and start looking for that special technique or quick method that will instantly make us an amazing painter and we all hope someone has figured out that secret and it's just a matter of following a few steps. Unfortunately it doesn't work like that. The only way to get better and to make painting miniatures easier is to do the hard work and put the practice in. And the best thing to practice on and paint are space marines. I've spent months only painting space marines. They allow you to work on layering, shading and most importantly highlighting. As much as we fear and dread highlighting, spending time practicing this technique is the best way to learn hand-eye coordination and brush control. Let me just talk about what hand-eye coordination is, because everybody talks about it, but nobody explains what it is. It basically refers to how well your hands can do the things your brain wants them to do. You teach yourself the motions and movements that are required to perform certain tasks until you can instinctively do those tasks with little effort. This is why people can make things look really easy, it's because they've put enough hours into it. So if you want to paint things quicker and easier, you have to learn to paint them slowly and for a long time first. So get yourself a box of Space Marines and start practicing.
It can be overwhelming to think about all the accessories and equipment available for painted miniatures and you can start to think you need a certain product or that you're not good enough unless you have a certain piece of equipment that someone else has. I've been there but I tend to find that I didn't actually need it. All you basically need are some brushes you like to use and they don't even need to be expensive. A pot to put water in, something to thin and mix paints on, some paper towel and the paint you need obviously. You want a painting handle? Use some cheap Jenga blocks. You want to stop spilling your shades? Use some blue tack. You want a wet palette? Use a takeaway tub with some paper towel and baking paper. Try not to worry about what you have available, especially if you're new and just starting out. It's your ability to use these tools that matter, not the tools themselves. I know I get the most out of the hobby when I plan what I want to do, especially when it comes to figuring out how I want to paint things. You can easily get started having a look at what other people have done. This is going to get you inspired and give you loads of ideas that you may not have had otherwise. I also like to use Games Workshop's website. Here you can see turnarounds and high quality images of all their miniatures to see how they've painted them and what colours they've used. And there's plenty of information and tutorials out there that can show you how to do whatever it is you want to do. If it's something you haven't done before, then you'll want to practice. Or you may want to test out a colour scheme that you want to use. All the extra parts you get in your miniature kits are perfect for doing this, as we don't really want to waste one of your miniatures if you don't like what you've done. Just spending a little bit of time doing some of these things goes a really long way to helping you feel motivated. Something else I want to talk about is comparing yourself to others, or maybe thinking you're not good enough and the expectations you may have. Just remember that everybody learns at a different pace and that you shouldn't put so much pressure on yourself. Also remember that it's your hobby experience and it's up to you to decide what that looks like regardless of what other people think or say. But that means you should respect other people's hobby experience as well. Just remember why you got into the hobby. It's probably because you thought it looked cool and you wanted to paint some space marines. So just remember next time you sit down to paint to enjoy the experience because it stops being fun when it becomes a chore. I hope you've enjoyed this video and it's helped you in some way. If you did, please like the video and let me know in the comments below. You can also support me at Patreon or by becoming a member on the channel which will give you access to what I get up to behind the scenes and you'll be able to see my videos early. And if you don't want to miss out on future content, make sure to subscribe. Thanks for watching and I'll see you in the next video.